Hey, it's Brickzar, and today we're going to look at the new Cousseau set. This is set 21104. It's the fifth Cousseau uh, released set. It's the Curiosity Rover, uh, the NASA Mars Science Laboratory Curiosity Rover. Uh, it's a really cool little set. It's um, modeled after the Curiosity that is actually on Mars now. It's really cool. Uh, this set has 295 pieces and it retailed for $30. So you don't get a lot of special elements with this. It's um, a bit much for the $30 price tag. And there are just one or two minor things I don't like, uh, but it, um, I like the design. I like how uh, the designer who uh, is in the book, you probably saw him on um, Your Creative Friends, Stephen Pack Packbaz. Uh, he actually probably made a little bit better model, his own model, and I, even his terrain. But uh, it's still a good little set. It has some of the key features of the Curiosity rover. And obviously, on this scale, they couldn't include everything that that, <laughs> that rover does. But it was super cool uh, watching um, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory guys when that thing landed. I watched that. Uh, of course, all you saw was the people's reaction and then... A little while later they had an image of the ground uh, so as far it wasn't like the moon landing where you actually had uh, some video of it that would didn't all that stuff didn't come to later but uh, it still was pretty cool uh, knowing that man had sent a vehicle that landed safely on a planet that takes light several minutes or I don't know how long it takes light to get here but from Mars but it's a long time so pretty cool um, so let's look at the Cousseau set. So with all the Cousseau sets, you get a nice box to keep your set in. This is, these are usually not sets that I, I'm going to be mixing up with my other pieces. But this one has just a lot of generic parts um, in it. But uh, they still give you a nice box. And of course, the nice uh, manual, which I read uh, before I did this review. It has it in different languages, but it talks about the... Um, the mission and why they chose where they landed, uh, trying to follow the water, basically. And then there's um, talks about the crater where they're at, and then some of the previous missions to Mars. Uh, the first in 1965, where they flew a, I think it was the Mariner. I should have remember this. Uh, passed it to uh, take pictures of it, and then I remember the Viking in the 70s landed on Mars and that's where we can see the red planet in all of its glory and now we're going to be getting a lot more cool images uh, now that this curiosity is there and of course the designer give credit to him I wish he'd do something on YouTube he's on YouTube but he doesn't have any videos if you're watching this uh, Stephen do something um, that was a cool design and uh, you should put a video of your own model on there I think that would be cool and to hear your thoughts in it since you're a he's a mechanical engineer and he knows all the details of it and of course they only included a few things of it um, but it's some of the main things and so anyway the first thing you build is the terrain and this is to me the my least favorite part of this set and I don't understand why they didn't model it closer to what Steven did he made it look more like the Martian surface uh, it would have been nice if they used some reddish colors. I mean, I can go out in my backyard and put this thing in, in the backyard and look more like it's on Mars than on this base plate. But Stephen did say that uh, there are gray rocks on Mars, but what do we know Mars as? Being red. Where's the red? <laughs> and he actually, Stephen used reddish tinted uh, slopes instead of these uh, dark bluish gray, but Lego and their fascination with dark bluish gray, they decided to use this, so that's what we're left with. So they spaced them like this for a reason. It's for you to show the um, the suspension, which is the coolest feature of this. It, it, the vehicle is designed to keep all six wheels on the ground at all times. So as it goes over, all the wheels stay on the ground. So that is pretty cool. I like it. And, of course, the vehicle doesn't move very fast. I think it goes like, it can go up like 660 feet in a day. It's, it, it, so it would be like this. Oh, wait, let me take a break. 
so it's really slow moving what do they say like an inch a minute or something but um, so that's that's the neatest feature of this the suspension and that's true to I think Steven's design so that, that's pretty cool uh, and then as far as the rover goes well you know they sent this there to take samples take pictures so there's a lot of cameras I think the book said there are 17 cameras and the coolest thing is it's got a laser <laughs> this part right here that's the Kim what do you call it the Kim cam oh I'm gonna look at it yeah the Kim cam RMI it, um, and there's some other cameras up there with it it's got a mass cam nav cams on there but that thing shoots lasers and pulverizes like the layer of the soil uh, so it can take samples and pictures so it's pretty cool <laughs> and then uh, you got this other robotic arm here with a Tourette on it and I think that might be another camera or something to gather the samples what did it say in the book it is the uh, well it just says when you build that it talks about it, a camera but, um, on the front in the book it says that's the robotic arm and the turret on that part but um so this out in front of course it goes out and back but just imagine this thing on another planet it's just moving about man made it and sitting there and it's, it's going around taking samples of the soil the coolest thing would be if they could actually come back with the stuff uh, we had not got to that point yet but uh, that would be really cool so all these other little details they are different features um, of the um, the rover and then on the back is another cool part you got the nuclear power I think that's what this is that was a neat little build you can pop it out there but um, that is pretty cool yeah. So they said that the nuclear power will last about one Martian year, which is two years to Earth. I think a year is how long it takes the planet to go around the sun. It takes Mars about two years to go around the sun. And but they, it's designed to last that long, which is two Earth years, but they said it could last even longer. But um, there's other little details like this. It might be the dish that they use to talk back to Earth. Um, it's not like they used to be. Uh, the technology's really uh, improved over the years. But um, yeah, I wish they'd put more details about all the little little goodies in this thing. They got the one picture in here of the rover, and that's what I'm looking at. And it has um, some of the different things: Ruff, Dan, Marty. <laughs> they got names sound like people. But um, I thought they maybe they could have put a few other details because if you look at the actual um, rover, it's got more um, some copperish looking things. I don't know. They could have. I know they avoided using stickers, which is good. But you know, maybe just a little more texture to it or um, roboticness to it. They could have added, but uh, still pretty good so I, I like the set it's a good set um, like I said, it's probably overpriced at $30 at $25 probably would have been a more fair price but hey man you get this thing that goes like that yeah. need to put a motor in it so cool and so the coolest thing is this was designed by somebody who actually worked on the Curiosity rover it works for Jet Propulsion Laboratory which is it seems like a cool job to have very cool so this is the Curiosity rover uh, Cousseau number five, and it's interesting that um, some of the Cousseaus, this is the second one that's designed on a spacecraft. And then you had the first one, which I think was some kind of underwater craft, which I never got. I, I, I'd like to get that one, but the prices have gotten too high, and I um, wish I had gotten Cousseau number one. And then, then you got the one on the Back to the Future and then the Minecraft. So you got two based on fiction. And then you got two based on space, real spacecraft. And I think that's the way I'd like Cousseau, some, a lot of the Cousseau sets to go. Just do something based on something real. Or something um, just interesting like this. So, you know, maybe do another one. Um, doesn't have to be science uh, or 
necessarily space, but anyway, this is a, it's a cool set. Anyway, that's my thoughts on it. I uh, wish they, again, had used Martian-like soil instead of brown and light, uh, dark bluish gray, but we'll let them live for it. But anyway, uh, that's my thoughts on the Mars mission, or not Mars mission, NASA Mars Science Laboratory Curiosity Rover. Uh, thanks for watching. This is Briggs Art. Mm -hmm.